<clears throat> okay, while well, I was on the fence with last week's Raw, if I really actually enjoyed it or not, it, it was definitely a mixed bag, but seemed to be going someplace. This week's Raw, of course, began with you know, the, the fallout from the, the lockout angle, and with Triple H, John Cena, Sheamus, and CM Punk all being in the ring, which then led to Cena taking on Sheamus, Triple H as the referee, and Punk playing the part of, like, timekeeper, bell ringer, and uh, commentary. And that was a ridiculously fantastic way to begin the show. You know. It would be like, Punk, you gotta ring the bell. And Punk's like, I gotta ring the bell for what I gotta do. He hits it, and someone says, don't screw it up. So he gets on the first, he goes, you know, our fans, don't screw it up is what I get for encouragement. This is going good, you know, solid match. Punk was doing a good job calling right down the middle. He always mentioned that he was CM Punk. Great job selling himself. And uh, that's when Vince McMahon comes back from his vacation. Yes, he's been gone for the past, like, four summers. Either he's been, you know, injured or insane or dead. He's always come back. And then, you know, long back and forth, board directors pulled in again. H when leaves your duty and the interim general manager for Raw. And I'm sort of thinking, you know, I might have thinking, Mick Foley or Roddy Piper or Chris Jericho or Austin. And then everyone's coming back and Morrison's like, oh, you, man, you suck. Which leads to Morrison versus Christian in street clothes. So it's the, the Christian Coalition. And then, you know, Morrison will try to fight off four guys. Spear, so that leads to a post-match beatdown. And there was Orton took on Henry, which went to a no contest when Cody Rhodes came down, and there was a post-match beatdown. Tamina and Rosa, whoever she is, took on Kelly Kelly and Eve Torres. And respect for women's wrestling just got destroyed in that match. It was, oh god, it was so bad. That match was ridiculously bad. Like, Junior's bad. It was that that match just set back women's wrestling at least 7-8 years. No, it was good back then. About 10-15 years. That match was just atrocious. With, you know, Eve, Eve Torres and Kelly Kelly getting the victory. Then there and I have to die to fire Jim Ross by calling him a, an ungrateful redneck. Meh. Main event of CM Punk versus Del Rio. Not a bad match, you know, Del Rio... He seems like he needs something to really push himself and become really great. But then Laronitis comes down and says he's rehired two people. You ready for this big huge shock? Miz and Truth. Which then leads to CM Punk and Del Rio taking on Truth and Miz. Overall solid match that ends in a no contest. And then H comes down and begins to help clean house with Punk. And then Larry Nice goes, I'm gonna call the board of directors. I will see if they would like to see Triple H and Punk take on the team of Miz and R Truth at Vengeance. Oh, I forgot one other match. They did a six man match where Air Boom and Mason Ryan, Air Boom now has their own official theme music now. It's not a combination, they have their own theme music. Took on what was left of uh, Vicky's stable. <clears throat> or the Christian Coalition minus Christian, so I guess the Vicky Coalition. In a pretty decent back and forth match, I'll give them that. Probably the most impressive part of that whole night, of that whole match was, you know how uh, Evan Bourne does like the jump onto someone's shoulders and uses his knee and body momentum to push the guy down? He did a swagger, and swagger caught him with the power bomb. It was impressive, it was good, and of course the, the, the face is one. And I think it probably one of the only, you know, one of two matches that actually were clean. And of course we get to have Vengeance in two weeks. So last week we had the fallout from Hell in a Cell. Two weeks 
previous to that was Net of Champions. So it's Net of Champions. And like two weeks later, Hell in a Cell. One week. And then two weeks later, Vengeance. I think I figured out why your pay-per-views aren't having that high of a buy rate. You can't build anything. You will be on your third pay-per-view in six weeks. D drop one of them. Like, re really seriously. You don't need vengeance. You don't. Drop drop one of them because there's no reason to keep on standing on top of each other. All this being the first one of the Leonard Idith regime. It, it was lackluster. You know, like I said last week, that build-up has to be something good. I think Larry Ice is a very you know, intriguing heel, but however, it just seemed like really nothing was going on in this for this Raw. You know, I tried to push too many storylines at the same time, it just came up really muddled and just not, not that good. I almost actually missed the H regimes.